dear students welcome to the fourth session of the video lecture on the play the bishop's candlesticks in this session we shall try to interpret and analyze the play as you know there are two major characters in the play the bishop and the convict who are quite opposite in nature the bishop is kind and loving while the convict is cruel and rude the bishop stands for the virtues like love compassion while the convict acts like a beast devoid of any human qualities here we see the playwright juxtaposing cruelty and mercy through the characters of the convict and the bishop respectively the play is also a comment on crime criminals and prison life as we know the convict became a criminal due to circumstances ironically the prison life which was supposed to reform the convict turns him into a beast now the bishop's attitude is uh, uh, the most impressive part of the play the bishop's attitude throughout the play impresses us he not only remains unperturbed by the convict's attitude but also he uh, responds uh, with love and kindness to all the uh, acts of the convict the company of a noble bishop for a night converts the convict into a new man again if you look at the convict's responses contrary to the bishop's response the convict's response to everything was with rudeness and harsh words he uses bad language he uses rough words he steals the candlesticks but it's only at the end of the play we see a turn around moved by the bishop's goodness the convict breaks down and repents for his mistakes and begs forgiveness mm -hmm. so the play represents different qualities which could be seen in people the bishop standing for good the convict standing for cruelty and wickedness and through these characters the playwright conveys the message that goodness always wins over wickedness thank you very much